Hi guys, I hope you're all good. Today I'm gonna do a little video review of the EB Nebula climbing shoes to give you a bit of insight into them. Before I dive in, I'd like to say for full disclosure that I've been given these shoes for free. They were sent to me by Beyond Hope, which is a UK distribution company of climbing gear and mountaineering that started supporting me last year with sound climbing gear, for which I'm really thankful for. Having said this, I want to say that I've chosen to do this video myself. No one's told me to do it and I didn't have to do it. Meaning that this is a total honest review and I'm gonna tell you what I really think about the shoes. I have them for a few months now and I've climbed mostly indoors with them although I've also taken them on a few outdoor trips. The reason why I've decided to do this review is because they are honestly one of the best climbing shoes I've ever had and it seems not that many people know about them. I've been asked about them on some of my videos and also while climbing. People seem to notice them but generally don't really know what they are. These are Nebulas and they are a climbing shoe produced by eBay. For those of you who don't know about eBay, eBay is a French climbing brand that has been around since the 50s and they were the first mountaineering brand to actually develop climbing shoes. Yeah, before anyone else. I think that sole fact gives them a lot of credit. Anyway, the Nebulas are a high performance comp style climbing shoe, really flexible, although I'd say a tiny bit stiffer compared to other downturn technical climbing shoes from other brands, which in my opinion makes it a good hybrid for both technical edging and steep terrain. Having a rather steep front for edging but a really flexible body with a good amount of rubber on the top of the toes designed for overhand climbing and toe hooking. They use a 4mm thick Daytona rubber which feels very sticky and it performs really well when smearing on modern comp volumes, giving you a lot of control and confidence, which makes them a really good rounded shoe. I've personally mistreated them quite a lot, having climbed with them in sharp limestone, but the rubber still seems like it's doing well. It has only started to wear out a tiny bit now, which is fair enough, and that's what you get if you climb outdoors all the time. Obviously, if you only use them indoors and you step on them only on wooden holes, they will last for much longer. But rubber outdoors, especially on limestone or granite, it will only last for so long. Doesn't matter what shoe you have. It uses a single velcro stripe to tighten the shoe which secures your foot and seals it with comfort. If I'm being really picky and trying my hardest to find a fault, that might be the heel. It doesn't look like a top-end technical heel in my opinion, although it does have some features in it such as these little holes that help to improve the grip when heel hooking. But honestly, this is me doing a review and trying to pinpoint a defect. It might not be the best heel ever made, but it is good enough. I've never blamed the heel for not being able to finish a climb, neither indoors or outdoors. And I don't like the heel any less than most climbing shoes. Coming back to the things I really like about them, they are vegan. In fact, all of Ibi shoes are, which means that they don't use any leather. They are made with synthetic material and as a result, the shoe doesn't stretch much with use. In terms of feet, I rather have a narrow foot and it suits me really well. My street size is 42 and a half, 43, that's UK 8, UK 8 and a half. Normally for climbing shoes I can go all the way down to 39. These nebulas are 40s and they feel quite tight, although it's still comfortable. So you probably don't need to downside as much as for other brands. However, and I always say this when I'm working at the climbing gym and advising people about shoes, it doesn't matter how good or how bad I like a shoe, you have to try it yourself. Everyone has a different foot, so what works for me might not work for you. For reference, a climbing shoe that suits me really well is the Squama from La Sportiva. So if that is your weapon of choice too, then the Nebula might suit you well. Although I would always recommend trying them on and buying them in your local climbing gym instead of getting them online. For some reason nowadays, every high performance climbing shoe is usually way over £100, usually in between 120 to sometimes 150 or even more. The EB Nebulas go, depending on where you buy them from, from £91 to £115, which I think is a really competitive price if you compare it with the other high performance climbing shoes from other brands. On the website they say they are designed for bouldering, although I can see them doing really well in Leiden too. 
Overall, I'm really impressed with the performance so far and I really can't wait to use them again outdoors as soon as we are allowed to. I can easily say they are one of my favourite climbing shoes I've ever owned. Anyway, I hope you find this review useful. If that's the case, please like the video, share it, drop me a comment if you would like to know something else I haven't covered in this video and subscribe to the channel.